Welcome to our Google AdWords tutorial. In our second video, we'll set up your AdWords account. In this video, we'll go through the process to set up your first Google AdWords account. It's fairly straightforward because Google does prompt you every step of the way, but there are a number of areas that you might find confusing, so this video will help talk you through those so you can set up an account as effectively and as easily as possible. Let's begin on the Google AdWords front page, which you can access at adwords.google.com. Or you can just go to the Google main page and click on Advertising Programs, then click on Google AdWords, and we're back on the same page. Let's click Start Now. First an aside. It's possible that when you first see this, or any of the screens I'm about to show you, they may look somewhat different than they do here. Obviously, this is a web-based service, and Google is constantly changing things. Some are minor, but some make a huge difference. However, the fundamentals have stayed the same for a long time now. Years, in fact. Almost as long as Google AdWords has been running. So I will mainly talk you through the fundamental options and what you'll need to be aware of. That should serve you well even if you're viewing this video and want to get started with Google AdWords several years from when it's being recorded. As you can see, there are two main options. Starter Edition and Standard Edition. I'll focus on the Standard Edition because that's the full featured edition and even though there's more potential for confusion using it the first time, these videos will explain the steps you need to take and hopefully eliminate any confusion you may have. So, we'll click on Standard Edition and continue. The process starts with AdWords asking you a series of questions so it can set up the advertising campaign. This actually isn't that important now because we're just looking to set up the account and you may not want to think too much about launching your advertising campaign. For example, I like to take a measured approach rather than having to make advertising decisions immediately. So let me talk you through what I generally do. Target our customers by language doesn't really matter that much. Let's just select English and move on. Next, you see they're asking for target by three main types of locations, countries and territories, regions and cities, and a location you can customize. Obviously, you can see that you can get progressively more localized. For now, let's just stick with a wider area and click on countries and territories and continue. Now the system asks us to pick the actual country or territory we're targeting. In this instance, you can see that it's selected the United Kingdom by default. But in the drop-down list, you can see what Google considers the main countries of the world. So let's scroll down and also select the United States. So we'll be targeting the U.S. and U.K. in this example. Again, we click Continue. And now we're to the page where we can put in our first advertisement. Since I don't like writing under pressure while I'm just beginning setting up an AdWords account, what I do here is simply type in this is my headline as a placeholder. For description line one, I might type in this is description line one. As you can see, there's a length limit for the headline and description lines, and if I were to keep typing, I reach the character limit, and from that point on, I can't enter anymore. So let's backspace to this is description line one, and enter this is description line two. Now the system asks for a display URL. This is the URL that appears beneath the advertisement for people who see your ad when they've conducted a search, as we explained in the introduction. 
So let's just type in www.mysite.com. Now in terms of the destination URL, you may want to have your display URL be your home page, but you might in fact want to send your visitors to a more focused landing page. For example, mysite.com landing page one dot html. For right now, we're not going to focus on this, so for now let's just leave it as mysite.com. Note you can also choose between HTTP and HTTPS, but again, this isn't all that important at this stage. So click on Continue. Google checks your spelling and other aspects of your text, and then asks you, who will see your ads? This is where you'll choose your keywords. Again, as we're just doing this quickly to set up the account, let's just pick something pretty obscure so we don't get any searches in the next couple of minutes. So let's pick something fairly uncommon. Let's say three-legged tables. Now, there's really nothing here that we need to discuss for right now. This will all be covered in more detail in later videos. So we'll just scroll down to the bottom of the page and click on Continue. Now Google wants to know how you'll pay for the account and which currency you'll be using. You can choose the currency you prefer to be billed in. For the sake of this example, let's say US dollars and scroll down. Now we get to select a daily budget, how much you want to spend per day for this advertising campaign. Again, we're getting a little ahead of ourselves, and it isn't that important, so let's put in just $1. Scroll down again, and now we're being asked for the maximum we're willing to pay for each click in our ad. Again, we'll just put in a placeholder, let's say $0.05. Scroll down again. All these more advanced features, such as the traffic estimator you see here, will be covered in later videos, so let's click on Continue. Now Google summarizes what you've done and allows you to review your choices. In this case, Campaign 1 by default, Language English, Location of Customers, the United Kingdom and the United States, Currency, U.S. Dollars, Daily Budget, One Dollar. Scroll down, and again, this shows as ad group number one. And you can see our placeholder ad and our keyword, Three-Legged Tables. Scroll down a little more, and you see maximum cost per click is the nickel we entered a moment ago. Next, we get to decide whether we want to be on their mailing list. Let's say yes. Then how did we hear about Google AdWords? Let's say other and continue. Now we're being asked whether we have an email address already for Google services. I do, so I've selected that, but you may not already have one. Now. Would you like to have a single account for all your Google services? You can decide whether you want everything under one login or whether you want your AdWord account under a unique login. It really just depends on how you want to structure your business with Google. For now, I'll say I'd like to choose a new login name and password just for AdWords. Now, just before we fill in these details, just for the sake of completeness, if you don't have a Google Services account, you would click on this option. I do not use these other services. And then you'd enter your email and set up a password. Then you'll need to enter the characters you see here and then create your account. 
That's what you'll do if you don't have a Google Services account at this time. But once again, I'm going to continue this demonstration as if I do. And just before I move off this page, if I click on File and View Window, if you go to gmail.com, you come to the Gmail page. This only recently became public. Before that, you could only get a Gmail account if you were invited to do so by another Gmail account user. However, it's now gone public, so if you choose to get a Google Mail account, you can use this as your login for your AdWords account. It's entirely up to you. Let's go back to the Google AdWords and choose this first option again, since I have a Google password I already use with Google Services. Then, I'd like to choose a new login name. And now I set up an account just for this. My email is this is a demo at gmail.com. Then let me enter a password and re enter it. Finally, let's enter these random characters. and create the account. The account is being created and now let's sign in. Since we've just set up the account the system should automatically log me in. The system notes that the account has not been activated since I haven't put in any billing details. Just before I do that let's go down and notice campaign number one the campaign we set up. So let's check that and click on pause and as you can see the system shows the current status as paused so no ads will be shown and we aren't spending anything. Then finally to fully set up the account let's click on billing preferences and simply follow the prompts. While we can't demonstrate this, especially when it gets into credit card details, you'll find that it's very straightforward and once you get it completed your account will be fully set up. Further details on exactly how to use your account, start advertising, and the benefits of Google AdWords will be covered fully in subsequent videos.